12.2 primary lymphoid organ notes. The essential question is what are the primary lymphoid organs and how do they function to provide immunity? Lymphoid organs are an accumulation or collection of lymphoid cells or tissue and then their job is to defend the body against any kind of effect, infectious agents or spread of cancer. And these lymphoid tissues are made up of cells called lymphocytes. So lymphocytes are a type of leukocytes. And leukocyte is a general term for white blood cells. So when we talk about blood or lymph, blood has red blood cells which carry oxygen. And it also contains leukocytes which are the white blood cells that are involved in immunity. In the lymph, they also contain... Um, white blood cells, and those specific white blood cells is the lymphocyte. There are two types of lymphocytes. There is the T lymphocyte, T stands for thymus, and B lymphocyte, and the B stands for bone marrow. And they carry out two different types of um, immunity. The T lymphocytes, their job is to they're actual cells, and there are different types of T lymphocytes, and they are involved in or responsible for destroying uh, viruses, um, cells that are infected with the virus or any type of muted, muta mutant cells or mutated cells. Uh, T lymphocytes is involved in cell mediating immunity, and then B lymphocytes, again, remember B, the T stands for thymus and B stands for bone marrow. B lymphocytes, their job is to uh, eventually become what is called a plasma cell. And then the plasma cells will secrete a chemical called antibodies. And they indirectly will cause foreign materials, any kind of um, pathogens to destroy them. And they're involved in humoral or antibody-mediated immunity. So uh, there are two categories of lymphoid organs. The primary lymphoid organs are the ones that are active in babies or infants. And they are where you find the immature lymphocytes. And then eventually they will become mature or become what is called immunocompetent, which means they can actually carry out immunity. So all white uh, blood cells, the lymphocytes, is formed in the bone marrow and then they that's where it's formed and then they will go to different areas to become mature on the bottom it is showing you that the five different types of leukocytes that are found in blood and lymphocyte is one of those things that are found in blood but then it's also found in a lymph also so bone marrow is one of the primary lymphoid organs it is where the immature lymphocytes are formed, including the B and the T lymphocytes. But the T lymphocytes will leave, but the B lymphocytes will stay and become mature inside the bone marrow. Recall from the skeletal system, the bone marrow is the center portion of the diaphysis in the medullary cavity. And not only are they involved in producing lymphocytes, but they uh, make all of the other leukocytes, the white blood cells. They also make platelets, which is involved in blood clotting, and they make red blood cells. Remember, the term for making red blood cells is hematopoiesis. And then eosinophil, basophil, neutrophil, and monocytes are the different types of leukocytes besides the lymphocytes that exist inside the, that is made inside the bone marrow. Thymus is the other primary lymphoid organ. It is located just lying on top of the heart. And notice that in the child, it is much larger than in an adult. So that is also the reason why it's called the primary lymphoid organ again, because it is more active in fetus and in babies. And then it gets smaller in size as the um, you become an adult. And the reason for that is because the full immune system kicks in as you're an adult and it is no longer needed. The thymus is responsible for producing a hormone called thymosin and they regulate the development of the T cells or the T lymphocytes. And remember again, the thymus is where the T cells, T lymphocytes become mature. Mature meaning that they become uh, able to provide immunity. Immature T cells 
they're not able to. And those T cells then will travel to wherever it needs to do into a, a different lymphoid organ to be able to provide immunity to, for the body. So here is an overview of what's going on. So in the bone marrow, you got all kinds of cells being made, the red blood cells, which is responsible for carrying oxygen. Then you have platelets, which is involved in blood clotting. And then you have monocytes and granulocytes, which are different types of white blood cells. And then, including all of the other, those white blood cells, the lymphocytes are being made. And remember that the B cells or the B lymphocytes will remain in the bone marrow and then will become mature. And then they will provide the antibody mediated immunity. The antibody is made by B cells. And then the thymus, the T lymphocytes, will travel to the thymus and then they will become mature, the T cells will become mature, and they are involved in the cell mediated immune response. And note that the B cells and T cells are formed in early childhood, in fe uh, fetus or in babies. And then by the time they're at childhood, the B cells and the T cells become mature. And then after puberty, you have a full on immune system, and so those organs will have less function. That's why the T cells become shrunken after puberty. 12.2 notes homework. Number one, what is the function of the bone marrow? Number two, how are T cells and B cells similar and different in structure and function? Number three, what is the function and the location of the thymus?